Hey, hey everyone. So today I'm going to show you uh, how to uh, calculate a check digit for a VIN number. So what a check digit is, is uh, in, I believe starting in 1980, they standardized the VIN system for vehicles because before that there was not any standardized system and it was more random than anything. So starting in 1980, they came out with... Uh, I believe it's a 17 digit long uh, VIN number. So I'm not going to go into details of what each VIN number or VIN placement means, but I'm going to go over what the ninth digit means, and that's a check digit. And what a check digit is, is it's basically a validation for the rest of the VIN itself. So that way, no one can really create a VIN, and if they do create a VIN, then there's a way to check it. So there's a lot of websites that you can just punch in your number here and check your VIN to see if it's been tampered with or created. <clears throat> so in this case, I decided to make my own calcul calculator on Excel, and I'll show you what I did here. So these are the standard tables given for calculating a check number for the VIN and the way it works is basically for each letter there's a numerical value and in this case it's called a transliteration value and basically each letter has a number value for calculation purposes and then uh, each number also has a weight for calculation and that's each placement in the digit so there's 17 VIN, 17 digit long VIN number and each placement of the VIN number has its own weighted value so for example we'll just pull out the VIN on uh, my truck and see if the check digit is correct so what I did here was just placed out each letter with its uh, following number value and then the position value with its uh, weighted value beneath it. So what all you have to do is um, put down the VIN and then get the weighted value of each one and then you just multiply it and then you get the product. So right now I'll just enter in my VIN. So here I'm going to put equals. I'm going to go up to here and then Actually, sorry, just for the number values, I'm just going to put equals the number. So my first one's three. And then I go over here, equals D is my second one. Seven's the next one. K is my next one. M, oops, equals M on this one. And then I have two, three, and then C, four, N, M, and then the rest are all numbers. And that's going to be five, zero, seven, two. Six and one. Now the reason I'm putting equal signs in front of those numbers is because when I drag this down I don't want them to, to count upwards. So then I just come across here and because I have all these values underneath the letter values it should just go right down and then take the number value of the corresponding letter which it in this case let's check and see if it did. Yeah, K is two and then the number values all stayed the same and then the way I had it work out is I just took all these weighted values for each digit placement and then put them here and then had it automatically calculate the product between the value of the letter and number from the VIN and just multiply it by the weighted value for the placement and then that, that gives you a product along the bottom row and then you take that the bottom row 
and just sum it up. So I have the sum here. And then what you do from there to get the actual check digit is just take a modulator. So that's just taking the sum and dividing it by, in this case, the way that they uh, standardize the VIN number check digit is to divide it by 11. And then you take the remainder the remainder after the, the the divisor and an easy way to do that in Excel is just to to do a modulator so you just put in equals MOD and then you take in the number that you want to you want to divide and then the number that you want to divide by which in this case is 11 and then you'll get a remainder of 4 so that's your check digit and on my VIN let's just check and see yeah the ninth digit is 4 so that works out so that's just a a way that you can yourself check your check digit and not rely on a website or anything so I uh, hope that helped if you wanted to try it out on your own or any other vehicles that you have just to see if the the VIN number is validated so uh, I hope that helped and thanks for watching